today I wanted to look at Wilson. Um, it's been in beta for a while and I did a video on the alpha and the difference is night and day. Um, I've been playing it for a while and I'm up to level 10 with one a couple of my characters. Uh, I gotta say it's, it's, it's pretty decent. It's a nice little ARPG. Um, it's got the typical type of stuff you expect from an April RPG and we're gonna jump into it just so you see what it's like right now it's in open beta and I'm pretty sure anyone could play it if you have steam it's a nice you know if you got that itch for an ARPG this could um, deal with that for you so they still need to do a lot of optimization so yeah logging in times are a little ridiculous it it may <laughs> it, it takes you a good five minutes after you hit like start to get there but with the latest patch which came out a couple of days ago you pretty much could play you play the first arc so I ran into a couple mini boss fights a couple of the mobs were actually pretty difficult and required a little bit of of work to beat. Even the death mechanic I like, you know, pretty much when you die, all you do is you just hold the button down and you could come right back up. They got some cutscenes going. It's 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 pretty good. It's coming together really nicely. Um, it kind of reminds me of Grim Dawn in the fact that you kind of just. You get thrown into the game, know nothing, no, you know, and then you kind of have to just kind of grow from there. I guess that's a typical ARPG formula. But a couple of things I like is the simplicity of like the combat. You have a, a default rush skill to get close to enemies. You could use all your skills pretty much constantly if you could generate the rage, or in my case, or the um, the fury, or whatever you need quickly. There don't seem to be any penalties for building complete damage yet, but it is pretty early game, so I'm sure I'm gonna have to build some sort of you know toughness or defense as the game continues. But right now, and you could respec yourself constantly, pretty cheaply and easily, so it allows you to play around with different builds. Like one build, um, I was doing about 200 damage per second, and I thought I was doing pretty good. I respect and now I'm doing 400 damage per second just because you know I just changed the tree that I'm, that I'm using. I'm hoping that they they tweak a couple of the abilities a little more because right now it's pretty bland. Um, some of them are like increased rage, increased distance, you know, jump, or you know. So I'm hoping that they add in a little more perks. They seem to be aiming for a more fun kind of powerful characters versus like overly balanced because they yeah you know, i mean from the first level um one hit killing things you know bosses they're a little different and some of the bosses they have telegraphed attacks that could one hit kill you or you know come close but it's yeah it's it's pretty good and they seem to give you items pretty easily and fluidly even the shopkeepers will give you, you know, better than average items versus most games. It's only the stuff that drops that's of worth, you know. So far, most of my really good items came from the shopkeepers. The stuff that dropped was okay. But yeah, they, they have a gem and a socket system already. They have um, skills which drop that you pick up and then level up. They have uh, a um, passive system similar to Path of Exile with this gigantic tree where you have nodes that you can go through. Hey, Ava Bear. Yes. Yeah. Did you hear that noise? That, no, what noise? That noise? Oh, yeah, that's the noise you're making when you move the balloon around. <laughs> and you can see how everything just phased in there. They got a lot of optimization to do, which is obvious. But just listen to me. Yeah. Let me show you real quickly what what I was talking about before. So you have, these are your primary stats. It's a typical sort of stuff like strength, <laughs> but 
toughness relates to your health in these codes and it's everything's really easy to understand and just look at here for example there you go it lays out exactly how things come together and plays out and like I said it's pretty easy it, it seems to be a hundred gold per level to reset everything and he has all the typical stats you expect to see here go finish your apple or put your apple on the table and you hear your mama talking to you. Then you got your inventory items here. Oh, I, I do wanna. I'm gonna activate this just to learn it. So, um, go through everything here, and then you could see all the various abilities. If you put an ability into your um into your your um your bar. It gains experience so we'll do that in a second just to kind of show you what it is and all your abilities are broken into kind of like meld weapons or melee weapons bows staffs daggers um, right now I build kind of a two weapon user and that was incredibly easy to do and straightforward here's that skill tree I was talking about when I first started off, I went kind of this direction with creating this four shield. It's kind of a shield you that has to be eaten away before your health gets eaten away. This time around, I went for pure damage and I went down this line here and it did a number to my damage with a little bit of leech, life leech to be my health regeneration trick. And you can see they they got quite a lot going here. Plus they said they were gonna work on like the outer rings as the the game progresses a little bit. And of course you got your map and layout of where everything is in the world. Right now I need to go over here while I'm over here. Teleporting around is pretty easy and straightforward. You just press T and then you teleport. Ava, Ava, I'm doing something right now, okay? So okay. Go in your play area, and then you'll eat breakfast in a minute. So these these color items are just superior. It seems like, you know, it seems to be normal, magic, super rare, and then unique in this order. One of the bosses dropped this item here. You can see, I don't know if they're really like locked in on how exactly some of these items are going to work and you know which ones are going to actually benefit different items. But just giving you a taste of the items that have dropped so far. Alright, so let's activate this skill. All right, so now that we've learned that, it's in my my um, queue here. All right, so I'm gonna move this around a little bit. Well, hopefully, they'll fix this in the near future. <laughs> But what I was saying before about these here, as you level them up, you get to pick between different skills. So you got, you know, something like this. Mm. You know what I mean? Then you had increase damage or reduce the cost. one so you saw how you each one of these are worth two points so you could use two or you could do a big one like this one here so I'm gonna have to test this one out and see what the shock waves are like according to this 400 average damage all right then you got your typical shopkeepers this shopkeeper sells you skills. Hmm? Nothing that 
really matters to me right now. This is also where you would sell any of the skills that you find, like for example this item here. If I wanted to use this shield and go the defensive path, I would, well not here, but I would use that skill I learned, sell it here to get these, um, these points here which are then used to level up the various items. Then of course there's your weapons vendor. This has been a pretty helpful guy for me. Let's see, this item, some of them can hit them, it's the Tatsuki score. This isn't a, a bad item. Will it beat my two items? I don't know. How much is it? I could afford to buy it, but I'm not really gonna buy it right now because I don't. I would rather. Put some of these items in here. I'm gonna build another character to really test it out and kind of see what everything's like. Then you got your jewelry maker. These are really the only ones that I've activated at this time. I'm gonna just teleport here. And before, as I mentioned, and they have, you know, I'll show you a quick cutscene just so you get the idea here. This is the quality of the cutscenes. Um, it starts off with a pretty cool cutscene. Your, your character is possessed by an angel and fights a demon. And then once you um, the battle's over, your people are kind of mad at you for being a, a possessed creature. They seem to be uh, you know, some sort of like religious cult that doesn't like demons and wizards and people being uh, affected by ghosts. So we're gonna skip this real quick just so we can jump into it. But this is, uh, I'd say the first hour of Olsen is pretty much where I'm at here. And you see, they they make it pretty easy to do things like this. Oops, I got a purple item on my first kill. Let me see what it looks like. Daddy. Yes, Ava Bear. Ready. Food's ready. All right, I'm coming. So you have this item here. Looks like Yeah, this is probably gonna be better than the, the two items I was rocking. So let's find Daddy, out. The food's ready. Thank you, Ava Bear. I'm coming. 850 as the average damage. Yep, this is noticeably better than what I was using. <laughs> and I was just about to say how, you know, I haven't gotten anything too crazy recently but as you can see just from the the damage output either they have to still scale it or I just happen to come up with a really crazy damage build early it could be a little bit of both because I, I don't you know I don't see anyone being able to fight me when I could put out this much of damage now because I was already pretty powerful previously with the two hand build that was going and the game is, is pretty good at like giving you a lot of like movement abilities I haven't really been using them because right now there's no need hopefully we can find a, a quick boss fight so you can see But you see, no matter how easy it was to kill them, look how much damage I took. Because I am kind of building super soft and squishy, but just incredibly powerful. And one thing I've also noticed is, it only shows you the damage number when you quit. So if, if you don't quit, but you still kill the person, they just die. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, that's done on purpose. Cause I feel like they probably need to do a little something to kind of make it obvious and these kind of ghosts this is a part that probably you know partially reminds me of um 
Yes, Papa baby bear. Bear, the ready. I'm coming, Ava Bear. I'll be right there. One thing that I don't know if I like yet is these. I have to level up to open up more of these. But right now, I only have one mechanism to like up my health. So in the boss fights, the boss fights are decent difficulty, you know, they require a little bit of planning. You have to dodge. Some of the enemies will um, one shot you if you just stand in like the red zone that it tells you, you know, so. And then, but one thing I do like is the, the mana regeneration is really well done. Or not just mana, but health. Like if I'm in a fight and I'm getting my butt kicked, I just have to run. Dodge a couple times. And I used to notice in my bar here, stamina equals the amount of times I could dodge. The dodge includes an invincibility frame, so it at least makes it so your dodge really um, benefits you. The problem I have, though, is that while the dodge is nice and it, it rolls you a good distance away from most enemies so you can avoid... Um, taking damage if you're surrounded and when the fights really get nasty it becomes impossible to dodge out Ooh, let's see what am I gonna do with this here uh, this isn't really an item I could use okay so and to quickly show um, Oh, that's not a new ability, and it looks pretty cool. I am going to go back to town real quick just to sell all of my items. I, I'm trying to build a character that's low health but really high full shield. So I'm really just looking for items that have that ability. I'm going to drop off. all these items here look over everything else we're gonna keep a pistol just and it doesn't seem to be any level constraints of any sort so if I make another character and assuming like most of these games you could pass on your items I should be able to start my next character way ahead of this one I've noticed myself doing most of the time is you come back to town and you just sell everything they still haven't come up with things like um, like Grim Grim Dawn there's a couple little things you could do to like sort out your inventory to make sure you have the best possible you know items where they need to be it doesn't really have that so like and they I like that every time I come to town there's something cool being sold so it's not you know time is just where you sell your stuff you can you do have to and it's you know advisable that you look in here make sure that some good things are being put on sale before you just run out like this item I have is really not useful for the build I have right now so what I'm going to do is, just to be sure, I'm going to switch these out. Yep, that's what I figured. This is better for like a spellcaster of some sort. And, you know, while I might not be showing you you know all the all there is about Grim Dawn. I just I mean about <laughs> excuse me Wilson. I just wanted to point out just you know new ARPGs that are coming out that I find to be you know really well done. And you saw the little um, effect there of when he was you know he was hit so hard that it kind of like slowed down time. <laughs> 
Oh, and let's see what. I saw that power attack he's about to charge up on. Oh, and that's the new ability with the chains. I like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just to show you all the abilities here. I probably because my daughter's calling me time to eat, I won't um fully be able to show off all of the abilities. But one thing I want to show you is the dodge. As you can see, if you use it well, you're able to dodge out and dodge back in in a manner that Oh so that was a good example here of of dying. <laughs> I pulled everyone in. And it turns out they hurt a lot more than I suspected them to hurt. I got myself murdered. You can see just what I was saying before the the monsters hurt and my build is probably balanced because of the way um, the monsters hit me. While I might be able to one shot on there, one shot most of them, I take a beating when I do get hit. So yeah, time to go off and eat breakfast. But this was just a quick intro to Wilson. Now that it's it entered like beta, beta one, it's definitely much better than when I looked at it uh, a year later. And that's probably what I'm going to title this video, you know, Wilson a year later, because it's definitely, you could see the work that has gone into this game. I'm probably going to do a couple more videos where I play it and just record and see, you know, what the first couple of bosses are like in this game. So, yeah, that's Wilson, beta 1.